So MSI South Africa sent over their GE62 VR Apache Pro for review. With it boasting actual desktop grade specs and its GPU with a full GTX 1060 inside, the first thing I wanted to do is see if the mobile version of the GTX 1060 actually does indeed compare to a full desktop card. I mean, with it having the same CUDA course, same memory clock, and same memory interface, it seemed ripe for finally removing the stigma of mobile GPUs not quite being the same as a desktop. Have we finally arrived to true desktop grade performance on a notebook? Let's find out. Quick side note before we jump into benchmarks. This is not a full review of the GE62 VR, simply a performance comparison on the benchmarking I've been able to do so far. All of the benchmarks are simply comparing 1080p gaming data as that's what most mobile 1060s will be shipping with as a display resolution and a desktop 1060 can barely handle 4K gaming as it is, so that's not entirely relevant. Also, all games were benchmarked at max detail settings. First up, let's compare how the mobile 1060 fares against the previous flagship mobile GPU, the 980M. I recently reviewed the Acer Predator 17, and in all the games that I tested, the 1060 is up anywhere from 15 to 25% over the 980M, with each configuration boasting the same CPU, the i7-6700HQ. Great, it's significantly better than the 980M, a good sign. But now on to how it fares against desktop 1060s. This is a bit of a trickier comparison due to that CPU differences are inevitably going to skew the numbers a bit. My desktop 1060 numbers are from an i7-6700K at 4.4GHz, whereas the mobile 1060 has the aforementioned HQ variant of the 6700. Also, since I've never tested a Founders 1060, the frame rate data is from overclocked GPUs as I'm not able to go back and benchmark those GPUs at stock speeds. However, even with all of that hedging, the mobile 1060 stayed at around 88 to 90% of an OC 1060's performance. I mean, the clock speed percentage difference from the mobile 1060 to the desktop is more than that. These desktop GPUs were operating just around 1950 MHz apiece, and the mobile version only had a max boost of 1860 with its actual speed usually falling between 1700 to 1750. But it's still freaking showing up to the party. I'm not sure what happened with Metro Last Light, but I ran that at least half a dozen times and it kept giving me better than desktop performance there. So that's good news, I suppose. Overclocking is entirely possible with the GT1060, but only core and memory clocks can be fiddled with and not voltage. The main thing that will likely limit you here is the cooling capabilities of your notebook. Just in a couple of quick overclocking runs, I was able to get the core clock up over 100 megahertz extra thanks to my custom HWBot test bench, complete with a couple of 140 millimeter fans for additional cooling. But the GE62 VR with its thinner size isn't really meant to dissipate a whole lot more heat. This is significant. NVIDIA doesn't appear to be fluffing around with the way they've implemented these mobile GPUs. The mobile 1060 is going to be perfect for anyone who wants to max out their games at 1080p. And it also means that MSI putting 120Hz panels on some of their 1060 spec notebooks is perfectly reasonable with most games being able to hit 120fps with a couple of settings dropped here and there. Superb for competitive gaming. And get this, the notebook was only drawing 150 watts from the wall during active gaming sessions. Holy smokes! This may mean if the GTX 1070 and 1080 mobile versions are a similar story, we may actually end up having true mobile 4K gaming performance. What a time we live in! Okay, the actual frame rates may vary from notebook model to notebook model. I understand. But the mobile GTX 1060 is basically as good as I was expecting it to be. Good job, NVIDIA. And with that conclusion, I'd like to thank MSI South Africa for sending the GE62 VR Apache Pro over for review. You guys can expect the full review on this notebook coming out in the next couple of weeks. Let me know down in the comments if you're planning on picking up a new 10 series notebook. I know that I'm super bummed about my personal Apache Pro only having a 970M in it now with how a 1060 performs. Like this video if you found it helpful at all. Dislike it if you think that desktop grade performance should stay in desktops and mobile GPUs should have an inherent disadvantage. Whatever. Subscribe to stay up to date on all of my tech related content and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.